Hey guys, it's DT. Welcome back to another video. Today I've got one for all you comic book fans out there. This will be part one of a little mini series I am doing where I showcase the top 100 most valuable comic books in my collection. So one of the most common questions I get from people that come over and see these comic books is how much they are worth. And I always tell them they're worth what people are willing to pay for them. And if you've been keeping up with the comic book market lately, you'll know that is a lot. Prices for key issues are at an all time high, just astronomical numbers. So it looks like there are a ton of new buyers. Everyone these days wants to get their hands on comic books. And since price or value are always dependent on supply and demand, we've seen a huge increase in the cost of these books. So here we have my top 100 CGC slabbed comic books. And to make it so this isn't some massively long video, I decided to break this up into four different parts. You guys might have seen some of these books from some of my other videos. We did a couple big comic book challenges. I showed you guys my comic book room makeover, but the values have changed over the last couple of years, actually the last couple months or even weeks. So here we have box number one. We're gonna start off with number 100 through 76. So I have my list here. I will be showing you guys the values for entertainment purposes. I thought it might be interesting to do the same kind of video in a year or two to see where prices have gone if they've gone up, down, stayed the same, but the values are there to just kind of give you a ballpark idea of what these books are going for right now. I mean, even in a couple weeks, these prices might be way off. So let's start the countdown with number 100, and I guess technically this is last place in this series of videos, but it is none other than Ghost Rider number one from 1973. Ghost Rider was super popular when I was collecting in the 90s. I actually won this at an auction, it wasn't like an eBay auction that we'd have today. You get like a list of books or lots and you basically put the highest price you're willing to pay for it. You send it in and you're notified if you win. So this one was part of a lot. It had Ghost Rider's entire run from Marvel Spotlight, including two first appearances, as well as some other Marvel Spotlight comics, which you'll be seeing later in the series. Uh, Ghost Rider number one, 8.0, white pages, and this one is currently valued at $550. Next up, we have The Amazing Spider-Man number 316. We've got a classic Venom versus Spider-Man cover. Uh, one of my favorite covers by Todd McFarlane. I bought this comic raw off the shelf when it first came out in 1989. Uh, got it graded a few years ago, came back a 9.6. And in its current state, it is worth $550. So it's currently tied with Ghost Rider. Next up, we have The Amazing Spider-Man number 40 from 1966. This one has the origin of the Green Goblin, a very cool John Romita cover. I picked this one up a few years back when I was trying to complete an Amazing Spider-Man run. This one is an 8.0 with white pages, currently valued at $550. So the first three books are all worth the same. Next, we have Thor 337, the first appearance of Beta Ray Bill. This one came out in 1983. A lot of talk of Beta Ray Bill coming into the MCU. There might have been a few Easter eggs in some movies where people thought they saw him, but uh, always been a very cool character. And currently a 9.8 is valued at $575. Next up at number 96, we have Strange Tales, number 180. This one came out in 1975 and features the first appearance of Gamora. And this one is a 9.6 with white pages also currently valued at $575. Next up, we have another book that I picked up off the shelves in the 90s, and this one is Silver Surfer number 44, which featured the first appearance of the Infinity Gauntlet. We've got this cool Rom Lim cover with Thanos holding the Silver Surfer and Drax in his hand, and the direct editions include Tiger Electronics insert. So this is a 9.8 white pages, currently valued at $575. So number 94, we have another issue of Amazing Spider-Man. This is number 10. First appearance of the big man, Fred Foswell, and the enforcers, Montana Ox and Fancy Dan. This one came out in March of 1964, a little bit before my time. This was another one that I picked up for my ASM run graded at a 6.5 with cream to off-white pages. This one is currently valued at $625. All right, number 93, we have another Amazing Spider-Man. This one is issue number 23 from April of 1965. This one features the third appearance of the Green Goblin, has a Spider-Man pinup, 
and a letter from Jim Shooter. This one's graded at an 8.0, off-white to white pages. Current value on this one is $650. Okay, next book we have is Fantastic Four, number 52, the first appearance of the Black Panther. So for some of these books, I have multiple copies, so you might be seeing some of those higher graded books later on down the line. But this one is a 4.0, off-white to white pages. Uh, this one came out in 1966. It also has an Inhumans appearance. So in this condition, this book is worth $675. And number 90 on the list is The Incredible Hulk 182. Most of you guys might know this as being Wolverine's third appearance. Uh, he had a little cameo on the first page. But what you might not know is that this is also the first appearance of Hammer and Anvil and the first appearance of Crackajack. So if you guys are big Crackajack fans, you definitely need this book in your collection. So this book is a 9.4 off-white to white pages. This was one of the very first books that I ever got graded and sent into CGC. And this one in a 9.4 is valued at $675. Coming in at number 90, we have Harbinger number one. I think this is the only Valiant comic to appear in this top 100. I think there's some kind of movie speculation around Harbinger. This one's kind of been sitting in the back of my collection, not getting too much love, but it is the first appearance of Harbinger. I did collect quite a few Valiant titles when they first came out in the 90s, so it's nice to see one of them made the top 100. This one in a 9.8 goes for $675. The comic number 89 is Punisher number one from the limited series in 1986. This right here is my very favorite Punisher cover of all time, uh, done by the great Mike Zeck. Had a huge poster of this in my room growing up, and this copy has been in my collection for over 30 years. Got it graded recently, came back 9.8 white pages, which I was ecstatic about. But this one in its current condition is valued at $700. Next up, we have the Uncanny X-Men number 101, which features the origin and first appearance of Phoenix. All the X-Men books have been super hot, rising like crazy. This one also had a black Tom Cassidy and Juggernaut appearance, came out in 1976. So an 8.5 of this book is currently valued at $725. And number 87, we have The Eternals, number one. This book came out in 1976, features the origin and first appearance of The Eternals, of course, written by Jack Kirby. This book was off my radar for a long time. However, as you guys know, we will be getting The Eternals movie. Looks very promising. I guess we'll just have to wait and see how it is. But uh, this one in a 9.6 is valued at $775. Next up, we have the Submariner number one from 1968. It's a story that's continued from Iron Man and Submariner number one, and the origin of Submariner is retold. This one is graded at an 8.5 with cream to off-white pages, currently valued at $775. Next up, we have the Teen Titans number 12 from 2017. I know we made a huge time jump from the other books coming into a completely different century with this one, but uh, this one is the first full appearance of the Batman Who Laughs. I bought this book a little while ago to go with the Prime One Studios Batman Who Laughs statue. We can kind of see him looming in the background there. So this one came out less than four years ago. So it's a little surprising to see this on the top 100 list, but uh, it is a very hot character and very hot comic book. This one is a 9.8 with white pages, and this one is also currently valued at $775. Okay, for the next one, we're back to The Amazing Spider-Man with issue number 41. This is the first appearance of the Rhino. You guys might remember this book from my Rhino statue review. Just one of the all-time great Spider-Man villains got a nice John Romita cover with the rhino bursting through a wall. This one is a 7.0 off-white pages. And this one too comes in at $775. Fast forward to 1984, we have Secret Wars number eight. This one of course features the origin of the alien symbiote that eventually becomes Venom. It says, amid the chaos, there comes a costume. This one on the rise due to all the popularity with Venom in recent years. And this one in a 9.8 white pages is valued at $800. For comic 82, we have The Amazing Spider-Man number 12. This one came out in 1964, 
features the third appearance of Dr. Octopus and a letter from Dave Cockrum. Stan Lee story, Steve Ditko art and cover. And it says, it's not a dream, not an imaginary tale. You'll gasp in amazement when Peter is unmasked by Dr. Octopus. The latest, greatest Spider-Man super spectacular. No first appearances in this one, but it is a classic. Uh, 6.5 off-white pages says this one is valued at $800. Okay, our next book is Marvel Spotlight number 32. This one has the origin and first appearance of Spider-Woman Jessica Drew. Also has a Nick Fury appearance. A lot of hype around Spider-Woman. I think Sony is rumored to be making a movie featuring Spider-Woman. I'm not sure if that's been confirmed yet. Definitely a character I remember growing up. And this book came out in 1977 when I was but a wee little lad. Uh, we've got this one in a 9.6 with off-white pages. Currently valued at $825. Okay, number 80 on the list, we have The Amazing Spider-Man, number 45. This is the third appearance of the Lizard. Again, love these yellow covers. Nothing too amazing about this particular issue, uh, but it is a 9.6, and that is from a comic from 1967. So pretty high grade for such an old book, and this one is also valued at $825. So next we have The Amazing Spider-Man 59. This is the first Mary Jane cover. There's also a Kingpin cameo on the last page. So we've kind of got this split screen cover going on here. Uh, Mary Jane is dancing on a stage and behind the curtains, we've got Spider-Man taking out some criminals. This one came out back in 1968, a 9.4 with off-white to white pages. This one is also valued at $825. And our next book came out a month earlier. This is Marvel Super Heroes number 13. This, of course, is the first appearance of Carol Danvers, the second appearance of Captain Marvel, and you also got a letter from Dave Cockrum. I have two copies of this. One of them didn't make the list, but this one did. This is the 8.0, which currently comes in at around $900. Okay, so fast forward once again. This book is from 1989. It is Predator number one, featuring the first comic appearance of the Predator. I bought five copies of this. I got one graded. It came back a 9.8. This is from Dark Horse Comics. Had a cover price of $2.25 back in 89. And this one is valued at $900. So uh, quite a big return from that $2.25 price tag that I paid, but uh, Dark Horse Comics makes the top 100. And for our final book of this episode, we have another Amazing Spider-Man. This one is issue number 32, which came out in 1966. We've got Aunt May gravely ill in the hospital, and Spider-Man is on a rampage. Spider-Man fights as never before. This one has a Doc Ock appearance and the second appearance of Dr. Kurt Connors, AKA the Lizard. So nothing making this a major key. However, it is from 1966 and it is a 9.2 with off-white pages, which brings the current value of this one to $900. Okay guys, so there you have it. That was 76 through 100 of the top 100 most valuable books in my collection. Stay tuned for part two coming up. We haven't hit the $1,000 mark, but I guarantee it's coming up in that next episode. So you're not gonna wanna miss it. Make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload, and stay tuned for part two as we continue our countdown. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.